I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to this version, look for a link in the video description below so that you can watch a lesson playlist with all the fundamentals and to where you can download this player reference. On the back are instructions and in the middle, scoring elements. This way you can follow along. In this exercise, I'm going to be playing four hands at one time, so it'll give you an idea of what it's like to play Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players two, three, and four will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hands, see where the strengths lie. For this game of solitaire, we're going to have a three fawn minimum. A fawn is like a scoring element. Don't forget to download that player reference so you can follow along. Everybody has their tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for player one. We have a lot of bams and honors. Honors are wins and dragons. I would try for a half flush here. This would be three fawn, which meets the minimum. If we can pair up and pung, we might be able to get value here. We're east. And incidentally, it's east round, so we can get value here and here. Any pung of dragons is worth a fawn, so we might get some value there. East and dragons. Here, we could potentially chow with these. Here is a potential pung. Any pair is a potential pung. And then these will be our discards. Let's see what we can do for player two known as South. To get three fawn here, I would probably play a half flush with bams. We're only one tile off with dots. So I would discard the crack first and see which comes in, dots or bams. We do have a pair here, but isolated tiles. We have two potential chows here. So the potential for black blocks are greater with dots, even though we have one less. So let's just see what happens. We can discard this and not decide. We'll just take it pick by pick. But I'm thinking a half flush with either bams or dots. Let's see what we can do for player three, known as West. We got a one flower. This is player three. We won't get score for that flower. You have to get your own number. So that's the flower for this player. We can get a replacement tile though from the back of the wall. Another flower, a two. That's this player's flower. We won't get score for that. We need to wait on drawing until this player gets their flowers and then we'll get that. So here we have two pair with dots. I'm thinking half flush with dots and honors, or if we pair up, we can maybe play all pung, all three of a kind. Usually three of a kind, all pung is good when you have four pair from the onset, but here we only have two. That's why I'm thinking half flush, but we have five discards to get to a half flush. I would probably start discarding the cracks. See what happens. Let's see what we can do for player four, known as North. Look at all those cracks. We have two flowers. No value there. 
they have another flower, but this player gets theirs first. East, that's the wind of the round. If we can pung that, that's score. And then let's get this last flower for north. That is their flower, number four. So they have a fawn just with that flower. Five, bam. Whoa, crack. Okay, I would go for a flush here, full flush. We have a pung right there, but if we break it off, we have a potential pung, potential chow, potential chow, potential chow. We need more cracks or honors to make this work though. A full flush is six fawn. Okay, we're ready to go. We're gonna start by discarding four east. Let's get rid of three crack. And we'll draw here. We could chow for north if this player threw it. You can only chow from a tile discarded by the player on your left. This is the player on their right. So we cannot take that tile. We're going to draw seven dot. Now we have the same number of dots as we do bams. Let's discard that nine crack and see what happens. We're going to draw one bam. Let's discard nine crack. They can't take it. They have a six, seven. Let's draw. Three BM. We clearly have more cracks than anything. So let's just start discarding here. One BAM. We can discard all these and they won't know what we're holding, dots or cracks. So we'll pick off these tiles. One BAM. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Five dot. Let's discard five crack. Drawing four south. Four dot. Now we have more dots than we do bams, and we have chow potential. Let's discard the bams and play dots with honors. We'll hold the pair in case we pair up. Right now though, we can chow, chow, chow. We need to pair up these honors. Let's discard one bam and we can draw for west. Dot, that'll help. One suit with honors. Let's discard seven crack. Up here, we could chow for five, six, seven. That would leave two isolated tiles. I think we should let it go because we already actually have a chow, four, five, six, and five, six, seven. Or we could keep them split like this and have two potential chows. Let's just wait and draw. And in that case, we got a crack. So we have some flexibility there. Let's go ahead and get rid of the two bam. Two bam. And here we're going to pung. So we are punging and the player on my left discarded it. We'll discard four dot. Can't take it here. This player could chow, but you cannot chow from the player across from you. You can only chow from the player on your left. Four dot. This player can't do anything. We're going to draw. Nine crack. Four crack. Up here now, let's look. We have a pair, potential chow. Here we have a potential chow. 
here's a four, five, six already. If we take that for a chow, we'll leave a pung and a chow potential here. Potential. Let's go ahead and chow four, five, six. And we'll discard three bam. So we could pung, chow, chow, or chow, or chow, leaving a pung. So no isolated tiles there. Three bam was discarded. Nobody can take it. We'll draw here. North, single honor. All these singles are not helpful when you have number tiles two through eight, which is what we have here. We need to pair up so we could pung. Five dot was discarded. So we have a one, two potential chow, four, six, seven, eight, let's chow. Player to my left. We'll keep dots and discard eight bam. Eight bam, nobody can take it, so we'll draw. We want dots and honors. We got a dragon, we'll keep it. It's a single, can't do anything with a single when you have two through eight. We've got a pair up and pung. Let's discard the one bam. And nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. Nine bam, not helpful. Drawing four east, four dot. We want bams for them. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw for south. We got a dot and a chow. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Maybe. Let's discard this four bam. Nobody wants the four bam, so we're going to draw. We got a dot. Very nice. We could pung, 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 pung. One, two, three, four. All we need in here is another pair. They're looking really good for all pung half flush, which would be six fawn. All pung is three fawn, half flush is three fawn. If we get this, that's even another fawn because a pung of the wind of the round is a fawn. Let's discard this eight bam. It was already thrown. Nobody wants it. We're going to draw. Flower, it's not there, so. We got a crack. Potential chow, potential chow. They're ready to chow here for a full flush. There's some flexibility there. We could do pung, chow, chow, or pear, or pung even, chow, 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 potential there. Let's get rid of this five bam. Drawing for east. Eight crack, no, we don't want that. We need bams. We're gonna draw four south. Green dragon, single honor. Pretty, but not helpful when you have two through eight. We need to pair up. Let's sacrifice the pair and get rid of seven bam. We're focused on dots. So now we're going to draw last tile, second wall. Nine bam. It's this player's turn. We're going into the third wall. So we're in the middle game now. Keeper. We have a chow. Potential chow, potential chow pair. Looking really good for them. Let's discard one dot. Six dot. Here, we could chow, but that's gonna break a chow already in our hand, leaving an isolated tile. It's better, I think, to keep it as is. Let's draw and see if we could pair up a 
an honor. We did, white dragon. Now we have a potential pung of dragons. Let's discard seven bam. Seven bam was discarded, nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. North, okay, single honors. Let's discard three bam, and we'll draw here. South, they might be able to play one suit with honors. I Let's discard five dot. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw for east. Nine ma'am. That is a potential chow. We have two potential chows. Let's start discarding some of these single honors. This will give us value. These will not. These could potentially give us value. So let's discard the winds that have no value. North. And nobody can take north, so we'll draw for south. They got a one flower, not theirs. Nine bam. Drawing four west. East, they've got a pung concealed. If you make a pung in your hand concealed, you keep it concealed. You don't need to declare it. We're going to discard six bam. And nobody wants it, so we're going to draw four north. We got a crack, a two, potential pung. Let's see here. There's a chow, potential chow. Here's a pung, pair. Let's discard south. They're ready to win on a three crack or a six crack. Pung, pair, potential chow, chow and they already have a chow out. So that's one chow out, two, three, four, five blocks, including a pair. So ready to win on a three crack or six crack. Let's draw four east. Red dragon, they finally paired up an honor. Let's get rid of south. That will not bring them value. This will bring them value, that will not. We still need to chow here. Let's draw. Four bam, drawing four west, three crack, mahjong, mahjong from the player on the left. So we'll turn it on the side right here like that and bring in our chow right here. Pung, pear, that's the winning tile. Here's a chow that was exposed. And we have flowers. That one has value because it's number four. And this is player four. So we'll put it like so. The ones laying down have no value. Chow, 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 pear, chow, or pung. Full flush. Six fawn plus a uh, flower, so that's a seven fawn hand. Flush. That is a beautiful hand. Half flush and full flush. I think those are my favorite combinations. Everybody else was in a half flush and they had only one exposure out. They had to be in cracks, but 
I played a win and West was cleared to one suit in honor, so I would have discarded that crack. If you would have done anything differently, write it in the comment section below and include a timestamp. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.